Well, today's Monday, it's the 1st of September 2022 and uh, it's back to work. I'm back to work, Anita went back to work yesterday and uh, so the term's now in motion for us, so we're getting back to normal. So it's an evening walk tonight. We're back in Parmanova, and you might not recognise it, but this is the uh, port of Parmanova, uh, where they've got a few boats. They don't have any really big ones here. And uh, the walk we're going to do is really more into Son Caliu, um, but we're going to go past the Ponent Mar. So just let's get going. There's only a little marina here in Parmanova, just a few small boats. Uh, lots of uh, these jet ski things. So you can go zooming around. But none of the big uh, big craft that you would see in Portals or uh, El Toro, Port Adriano. Across the road is um, a restaurant, Podigliani, which is very popular with our friends, Barbara and Martin. They, uh, I'm surprised they're not in there now, actually. Yeah. We haven't been there for ages. <laughs> and it's popular, actually, with some of the people who've been watching the videos as well, telling me it's where they go for uh, their evening meals. And we're just looking over the bay now of Parmanova, and the sun's starting to go down. Jet skis out there. Well, right in the distance. I wish I'd got my other camera sometimes, but there's one, two, three, at least four. I thought I saw a fifth one actually, but four jet skis zooming towards us now. I think there is a fifth one a little bit behind, but probably too, too small for this camera to pick up. There's the uh, rock Portanova apartments. So we don't often come this way. It's been a while since we've walked this way around. It is a little bit more hilly this way. Not too bad, but it's a little bit more hilly and there are a few steps involved. this little hill here. So what we're doing, we're heading towards the Ponent Mar, which is it's quite a nice hotel that we find here in Parmanova. Several people have said uh, that's where they stay. It's a bit multinational now. And uh, I've been there a few times, not to stay, but to eat. And we used to have meetings there, various associations that I've been involved with. over. It is a one-way street and we're following up, that's where your cars go, until you get to this uh, junction here. And they have cars in both directions. It's still really hot. It's pretty warm, it's pretty sticky. That's a nice horse. A little bit of puffing and panting in here, I'm afraid. But it's worth it. It's worth it because we get some nice views when we're behind the Ponet Mar Hotel. So it's going to turn right here. Directly in front is the Ponet Mar. Looks like people have had the really early evening dinner and out for a walk in Parmanova. Or maybe they're going out for dinner in Parmanova. It's 
It's four stars and referred to as an apart hotel. So it's easy to miss the fact that there is a path down here. You can see there's two areas. And uh, we're going on the one to the right. One to the left is to their garage. But this now is a, a public path that takes you down back to the sea. So we've got to go down a few steps. <laughs> You've got your best, um, what's it on? <laughs> oh, oh, cover it up. <laughs> well, that was uh, Julia, we've known Julia for, well, I don't know, 30 years, nearly. 25, certainly a long time. I did put something in my shoe. <laughs> oh dear. Probably your toes. Sorting out her sandals, open toe sandals. I'll um, make my way down these steps. There's quite a few of these steps and there is no other way. So if you're a little bit dodgy on your feet, then these steps probably are not for you. Um, I'll just take it easy. But when you get down here, the views of Parmanova are really quite nice. This part here, look, it's, it's all a bit overgrown. I'll put the camera up when you see over. We're going to see a bit more of that as we walk along. And uh, some of the path, for as long as we've been walking along here, has been in need of repair. And looks as though they put this fence up to protect people, but they never actually got round to properly preparing it. But there we are. You can see it's a bit cl cloudy, a little bit hazy this evening. Um, so we're not going to get one of those really pretty sunsets but uh, we can look over Parmanova and hear the sea lapping against the rocks down below Again, I'm just going to put the camera out a little bit so you can see what's going on down there This is the part where at some point in history, and I don't really know when this happened because it's, uh, it's always been like this for as long as I can remember. Part of the wall must have fallen down below. And uh, just over to our left, well, this is the Ponent Mar. And so this is, if you've got a, lucky enough to have one of the rooms on this side, this is the view you have from the Ponent Mar. Right out to sea there. So we're actually walking west now from Parmanova. Towards uh, an area which is referred to as Son Caliu, and Son Caliu has some really good restaurants. For lunch, Maison Son Caliu, and I uh, made a video of that recently, which seemed to be very popular. It is a very popular restaurant, it's one we really like. Um, some steps down there, which will take you down towards the sea, and uh, there's a little back road which has got a lot more restaurants and uh, Arches is there where well, we have fish and chips Indian saffron and saffron. Saf saffron with a Z 
is there, a really good Indian restaurant. Uh, we haven't been there for a while, so we need to go back. And then uh, some other restaurants which we've been to, but they've changed hands since we've been to them, so don't know what they're like now. But uh, I don't really hear of any complaints. I can't walk underneath that one, so I'll have to walk around it. And uh, it's really pretty looking back on Parmanova, but it's really look pretty looking forward towards, uh, I suppose, towards the Yetas. And eventually, so this is all the San Caliu. There's a little beach in San Caliu, but it really is um, a little bit small, little cove. It does get some beds on there, and there is a platform which uh, you can jump into the sea or some steps you can climb down into the sea. And that too has got a couple of nice places on the beach. There's the Rincon. And what's the other one I used to go to? Bamboo fish. It used to be the bamboo fish, but it's not the bamboo fish anymore. It's still really nice. It's still really nice, yes. That staircase, you can see it going down there now. And just on that little island over there, there's some uh, stainless steel steps so you can climb out to the water. We'll put those there. <laughs> Not something you'd expect to find. Oh, yeah, in the distance over there. It's a body. Well, a man. Sorry. Somebody sway, swimming. But I read the other day that the temperature of the sea had been measured to be 30 degrees. It's a bit like a warm bath. Party boats just setting off over there. And the catamarans. And then there's another little inlet here. It's very rocky, but uh, a few beds down there, which I think are probably to do with the apartments that are above. Carry on. Still walking around the Ponent Mar. It's quite a big hotel. Lots of the rooms do face out here. I don't think they all do. I think there are some that don't. Just as we saw some damage to the walkway again, some here, but uh, all the years we've been coming, this has still not been repaired or changed. The actual walk now has more steps and uh, a little bit rickety, but more steps nonetheless. Quite manageable, they're not deep, high steps at the moment. And uh, really quite clean what appears to be a back alley I had some uh, storm recently which has blown down some of the pine needles and rain which has washed them around but it's uh, looking fairly clean and then we come to some real steps too many. It 
So there is a sign here actually, and I've never really bothered to read it before, saying that access uh, is closed from 11 at night to 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the Ponent Ma must have somehow got permission to do that. wonder why? Well, I guess it's to do with kids being rowdy, going down there, partying at night. That's one way of the hotel uh, stopping that. So I understand why they would want to do that. So actually, steps there will take you back up to the entrance and reception of the Ponent Mar. And down here we've got largely residential apartments. There are more hotels down here, but uh, this is a more residential area of Parmanova. And the, we come out in the evening because it's a little bit cooler, but it's still quite warm. Warm and sweaty, as they say. So yeah, back to school for me today. Good to go in to see uh, see all the colleagues. No children. School's so much better when there's no children there. <laughs> Not for a while. And the first question, of course, by many of the teachers is, when's the next holiday? <laughs> oh dear. When do we break up for Christmas? <laughs> I'm just going to walk in the road a little bit here. I know I shouldn't, but it's a bit dark if I walk by the, the wall. There's a sign there that does tell you where that wall is. It's the Hotel Saint Caliou, so just the other side of there. Hotel Saint Caliou, it's a very nice hotel. And on this side we've got uh, Penny Lane. Actually had a couple of Christmas lunches there. Staff lunches from school. Very nice. They do Friday fish and chips as well. Eleven fifty or eight fifty. And then right in front is a big white block there, which is the Voronova. Well, I'm not sure it's still called the Voronova, but it used to be called the Voronova. It's a hotel. Uh, a friend of ours was actually the first manager there when it was called the Voronova, so we used to go quite regularly. Must be the back door. The hotel's on Kaliu. We're actually looking at the back of what used to be the Voronova Hotel. We managed to get in front of it. We'll have a look to see what the new name is. Somebody will put me right. You want to walk down to the beach in South Yeah. Yeah. So that means walking around. What we're doing now is we're walking around the, uh, the Song Kaliu Hotel is all of this on my right which you can't see in because they've got nice tall hedges but it is a, a nice hotel our children used to go there to do modeling I think in the past <clears throat> Last time we came down here, we went into that park with the... Luna. Who with? Was Luna. it Luna? Okay. Is that the pizza delivery guy? Yeah, he's 
he smiled for the camera. I can tell he was smiling even though he got his crash helmet on. <laughs> As we go down this way, that's what we've walked around is this hotel and that's the entrance. You can see in the distance, I've actually got two entrances. One might be to the spa and one to the hotel. Four stars. But it's just a, a little bit away from Parmanova, which means it's a lot further away from Magaluf. So if you're looking for that sort of quieter holiday, then maybe this is a more for you. Not sure if any of the tour companies actually do use the Son Caliu Hotel or whether you have to book it yourself. So that's the spa. And the hotel so looks like they have rooms on this side and then rooms on the other side which we'll be looking over the pool and the, and the sea a very green lawn And there are a couple of bars along this back road here as well. We're very, very close to the beach now. Sometimes we used to come down here and park and then uh, go down to the beach for a swim early in the morning, eight o'clock in the morning. Ever eaten at the San Caliu Hotel, have we? No, we didn't In fact, I've never really noticed a, an entrance like this saying restaurant and bar. So. These restaurants look really nice here. Yeah. So, some, we don't go to any of these, so these are places yet for us to discover. There's one, where they? Tapas, and then there's a Terramar, which also does tapas. And uh, if you've been watching any of our videos, you know that we do like our tapas. It seems a great way to eat to me. You just lots of small dishes, different tastes. And this is the little path now. It takes you down to the the beach in San Caliu. It is only a small beach paired with Parmanova and Magalhães and sorts of places. I think maybe we should stop and have a drink here. <laughs> Not to go. But it is sandy. No, uh -huh. sandy. They do have um, beds on here which you can pay your euros. I'm not sure how many. Might be full actually. <laughs> It's buzzing there. Just make my way down to the beach. Down to the sand. There used to be some swings over there, I seem to remember bringing the children down years ago. They used to play on the swings, they seem to have gone. But this is, uh, I say it's new, but it's not. It's been here for a long time, but it's relatively new. As there used to be just a, a wall here for you to fall into the sea from. And now you can actually go down, there's some steps down to take you into the sea. Um, I'm not sure how deep it is, whether you could jump in here. If you want to test it first, it looks reasonably deep. 
um, but mm, more crucially is there's some stainless steel steps to help you to get out. It's quite high above. And this is bubbling up and down, so I'm probably going to get seasick by the time I get to the end of here. It is really jumping up and down. I remember about being on a boat that was doing this. <laughs> a ship, I mean. So the, the sea here is beautifully clear. It really is. And, uh, it's a little bit choppy at the moment, but if it's not choppy, it's really great for snorkeling because it's quite rocky down there. And I'll just turn around. I've lost a meter. Where have I lost her now? Where has she disappeared to? I don't know. She's probably met somebody she knows who does, oh, she does that quite often. Or oh, she's found a way into a bar. You can carry on walking round, and there is another little bay just a little bit further. I'm not going to do that because it's over the rocks. So we're probably going to go out on that little pathway. So I'm going to go up and down here. <laughs> right, funny this is. People go to fairground attractions to have this sort of a silly walk. Make it on the stable land, and just made it. And he just found a a bench to sit on. She's already on her phone chatting to somebody. Has she ordered the drinks? That one's not open, dear. That one's not open. So we just sitting at the only bar that's not open. Yeah. Oh dear, she's got a problem. She's got get sand in her feet. Oh, you can walk around there. We're going fine. So I need to find quite a nice table for us to sit on the beach here in San Cali. Um, there's quite a few people in here enjoying the same same view, and uh, we've both got a drink. So Anita's on the rosé, and I've got my usual shandy. Cheers, darling. Cheers, everyone. Well, the glasses are now empty. And it's going pretty dark out there. So I think it's time for us to go home. If I can video anything on the way, I will, but it's probably going to be too dark. So bye for now. Bye. It is really dark, so I'm not sure whether this video is going to be any use at all. And um, we're in Saint Caliu, so it's one of the bars. It's not a bar that we would go to. Lots of locals in there. But the place we do to come to, and I speak of quite often, is this one, which is Archie's, which is where we come for fish and chips. So now you can see what we're talking about. Really good fish and chips there. And then as we go just a little bit further, so more restaurants, bars. And the Indian restaurant that we speak of, which we really like, is Zafron. But not for us tonight, they're just packing up a bit. Smells good. <laughs> and this one is Molly's Bar. If you come by car, there's actually a car park here. Free car park. Some people think it's uh, for Maison Saint Caliu. It's very, very convenient for Maison Saint Caliu. Uh, but it's a public car park, which is going to be very dark for me to video in. We didn't park in this park, car park, unfortunately. I'm going to switch the um, camera off now because I think the lighting is so bad. This is um, the restaurant Maison Saint Caliou. 
Uh, you look at it from the outside, it's actually got uh, Song Caliu Restaurant Al Carbon. That's actually the old name. Uh, well, at least the Al Carbon bit is. Um, but it's gone back to being just like Maison Song Caliu used to be years and years ago. And just setting off there is the A11 airport bus. Um, the cheapest way to get from Parmanova to the airport. Pharmacy's just turned his lights off, so nine o'clock, he's just closed up for the day, I guess. And uh, we're going to go heading off into the dark again, I'm afraid, so it's lights off time. Camera off time, so bye for now. Just a quick postscript. Um, when we were walking around San Caliu, I mentioned the Voronova Hotel, and, and it changed its name some years ago. It's now an Ibiro Star Hotel, Ibiro Sol Hotel. Ibiru Hotel Ibiru Sol and it's called the Son Caliu Son Caliu Mar four star hotel when it was originally designed uh, it was designed with um, disabled people in mind so uh, there were lots of facilities for that not sure what it's like now it's a big quadrangle all surrounding a, a large pool area at least that's how I remember it so the hotel Ibiru Sol Ibasol Song Kaliu Mar.